Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up your Arlo Pro 4 security camera with the app. First of all, you'll need to get the Arlo app, so uh, you can get it either on Google Play Store if you have an Android phone or in on uh, iOS it'll be App Store. I'll just show you how the app looks. So you can see here I have searched for Arlo in the App Store and um, this is how it looks. Once you open it, you may need to first set up the account here. So you may need to sign up or log in uh, if you're opening the app for the first time. And now you'll have this screen. Simply click on add a device, and then select cameras. Now select Pro Series and it will be the Pro S. Uh, sorry, Pro 4. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, first of all, on your phone, you need to connect to a 2.4 GHz network because the camera only supports 2.4 GHz network. So if your home network has, for example, um, two different ones and one of them may say 5G or 5 GHz, select the one that doesn't say that. Or if the other network says 2.4 G, then you're even more sure about that. I'll just slide down from the right top part of my screen on iPhone to find the Wi-Fi button. Let's press and hold on it. And you can see there are different uh, networks. I have just one and it is a 2.4 gigahertz network indeed. I if it won't work, then it's probably gonna prompt you about that later and you may need to switch to a different network. Now, uh, you need to enter the password for that network uh, for that network. Uh, so it can be sent to your Arlo and um, here you may be asked about location uh, services to allow them uh, to the app and you need to do that otherwise without that I think you can also use the uh, Arlo without location services enabled but in that case you'll need to enter the network name yourself and make sure you enter it very correctly now the password um, and once we have that just click on continue and you'll need to insert the battery into the camera so you have this button at the bottom press on it you can see the front of the camera will pop out now you can take it out and put the battery in there this is the battery make sure it aligns correctly with the pins just like that Push it in until it clicks and now you can close the camera until it clicks, until it lays flat here. Click on continue and check if the blue light on the camera starts blinking. If it does, click on continue. If it doesn't, open the camera again with the button at the bottom, take the unit out of the chassis and you'll have this little sync button here at the bottom. You need to press and hold on it for 15 seconds until this light starts blinking orange. So I'm gonna start pressing and holding. I don't really know if in my case, yeah, it also uh, came to orange. Uh, now you can release the button and put the unit back into the chassis until it clicks. Now wait until it starts blinking blue. It will begin in a few seconds. Okay, you can see now it started blinking blue, so I can click on continue. And now I need to hold my camera in front of the QR code right here, about four to six inches until I hear a chime. It was scanned correctly, so let's click on continue in the app. Now it's looking for my camera.
now the camera was found so uh, you can rename it if you wish click on continue and now it's checking for available software updates on your um, camera if there are any you may need to install them I believe that in my case there will be none Yeah, my firmware is up to date. Uh, now you may need to position your camera. So um, so it looks fine, right? I'm just gonna click on continue and uh, let's finish. You can see everything is set up now and uh, feel free to simply use the app now. I hope that this video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, see you in the next one.